Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, your boy here. I'm Jake98 here, and I'm back with my second video of me returning to YouTube. And today, as I promised, um, obviously the screenshots for career mode and generally FIFA 14 were released uh, a week or so ago, and I haven't been able to do the videos, so I've been doing them now. And I promised I would release a in-depth view at career mode and the screenshots released, which are really exciting. Sadly, the one in front of me that we're going to start with, um, the hub on its own, is, um, well, it's purposed and pro it's uh, showing a uh, fan of Tottenham Hotspur. And I'm not being offensive to any of you Tottenham fans out there, because I support your views if you want to support a football team. Forever. I love football with all my heart, and I support West Ham United with all my heart, and I will die supporting West Ham. Best team in the world. As well as Chelsea being on there, you Chelsea scum. I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, so straight away we see its complete new look. It looks great. It's like a. It's it's obviously been uh, looked at from Ultimate Team, and it looks very similar to Ultimate Team. Um, as you can see, we have a different dashboard type thing: Central Squad Transfers Office and Season in general. So Central is obviously where you're going to get your upcoming matches, and as we can see the news feed and the general table they've also added the uh... which would have been down the bottom in fifa 13 the uh, general uh, where your ea coins would go and your xp and what level you are and that's down that's up at the top uh, in a uh, career mode so it, this guy's quite rich on here <laughs> 250,000 coins um, so i'm gonna start with uh... looking at this new uh, career mode uh, new career mode central um, obviously, squad is on the uh, second uh, screenshot. Now, office, there is a little five. So, um, maybe, I was thinking maybe uh, the uh, owners of the club and your general management team message you in between matches and obviously, like, before you even sim like simulate the uh, days, maybe it's uh, they interact with you more. Maybe it's, uh, oh, we're glad to see you're getting on at the club. Um, I don't know, maybe they ask you if you need any additional funds, that would be quite cool. And it just seems as if uh, the office, maybe like the board, are getting more involved in the game. It's like a more more pressing on, getting the results. Are you are you uh, delivering what we want to see at the club? Like making it more realistic. Um, play match here, sim match is the same in the sense because obviously that's all you can do, simulate matches. I don't really do because I like to play it. Um, preview Spurs versus Chelsea. Obviously, maybe it doesn't pop up in your face at unexpected moments, which was quite cool in FIFA 13. Maybe it's just a little box here. As we can see, they've kept the idea of uh, slides, as in like every certified seconds it moves on to the next side here with the little uh, button, like shiny little balls. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. So, preview Spurs versus Chelsea. Spurs play host to Chelsea on Saturday in an early battle for fourth place. So it's as you can see on the table West Brom 7th 7th uh, sorry third 7th played 16 points not very realistic. I can't see that happening. Arsenal 7th ha <laughs> ha Chelsea 5th yep that's realistic. <laughs> yeah so it, it's all coming together and that should obviously show you as that's on certified links as well maybe it goes from that half to a middle section and then to the bottom section of the table so that's quite cool um, preview Spurs versus Chelsea it doesn't obviously pop up in your face maybe it does but so they have little um, stories here maybe you can press Y again to expand the story and read it the uh, pictures look good they look like more real like more sensible to the story Instead of just random ones, pictures of fans, which I didn't really like. There was just like a really blurry picture of fans for a picture that they couldn't think of. So, a bit laziness there. RSS feed. Gareth Bale in great form scoring in back-to-back -back matches. I can see that. That's realistic. Uh, match preview. So, there's another match preview. Maybe that's a later one that's already happened. Um, Robin Van Persie's goal keeps Man United clear of City at the summit at the top of the table. So, it looks as if RSS feed, obviously news feed, is like a constant news feed. It keeps coming. It keeps updating like every second. Maybe not every second, but every day. It keeps popping up at every moment. Maybe 
it would be quite cool maybe if you had like a real time in a sense you if you know what i mean as if it like it was on like a normal analog clock and you, it like updates every now and then and it just makes it look a bit more authentic and it, i like it i think rss feed looks like a nice new addition to career mode um, so that uh, does the uh, news updates and then uh, this is the one most anticipated part of career mode global scouting network well this obviously your scout there M miles so you probably get to choose your scout again ranging from his talents and his judgment and experience I go for judgment personally as you can see the scouting network have selected England like general England area and uh, have chosen Sebastian Cotes, Kieran Clark, and Igwell Mikel. Maybe they've seen them as prospects. I don't see e, uh, I don't see uh, Igne Miguel as a great prospect. But hey ho, you can see as if they they are popping up with uh, updates on who they are looking at in the scouting network and who they think could be a good fit at the club. Maybe this maybe this what is what happens. It looks like quite a nice addition. Global, global Scouting Network is a big addition to FIFA 14 career mode, and I think it will add like a sense of realism to the game. So, we move on to a, uh, our um, second screenshot. Well, this one shows our Global Scouting Network in a bit more, uh, a bit more, well, a bit more dense, a density, <laughs> a bit more involved. So, as you can see, it's updated. So, Maybe they have update. Maybe they have a original, a uh, original uh, scout scout report, and then if you are not happy with it, you tell them, and then they go and update it and get a better scout report on it. So obviously his, uh, I really don't. This is the one that looks a bit extreme, defending one to ninety nine, but overall the rest look pretty realistic. From Newcastle right mid Gabriel Obertan, not really a fan of him that much, but it's good because it says uh, it shows recent. You go to transfer scout scout report, so it has the uh, des designation and um, recent attackers, and midfielders, defenders, and goalkeepers. So it has, excuse me, a range of uh, obviously the uh, positions in um, the scout report. So obviously, if they have certain people or certain prospects that are upcoming, you can go and see the latest attackers, the latest midfielders, or just specify to your scout which uh, which type of uh, player you would like to bring to the club. Gabriel Oberton, 50,000 wage. Does that really look realistic? Unless that's, it uh, doesn't, probably that's not, probably, no, that's probably, yeah, uh, the scout's wage. Yeah, that's the scout's wage. And maybe that's how much you pay him. The, maybe it's realistic as in you pay the scout wages every week to, to go and find you players. So that would be quite cool. And we have uh, Gabriel Oberton, Ignacy Miquel. Uh, Kieran Clark, I like. Suso, I like. Nathan Baker and Sebastian Cotes, and they have exclamation exclamation marks next to them. So that obviously means that they are updated, and they've got a better range of what they think the player can achieve in uh, future references. And it says change view at the bottom. So maybe maybe uh, you get to see it in a different uh, different organized ways. There's a scroll scroll down here. So with the left trigger, left analog stick. Sorry. Obviously, what we saw in um, FIFA 13, we could uh, navigate through the news stories and then expand them to read. So maybe on this, you use the left analog stick to scroll down in the Global Scout Scouting Network, find the player, find a player that you think's got a good prospect, send your scout to get an updated report on him, and then he comes back with this realistic uh, report here. Obviously, 21. They give you the age. I I'm, I didn't see that in FIFA 13. They didn't give you a specified. Oh yes, they did give you an age, but they didn't give you um all the time their positions. Uh, it would be like unknown, unknown. But then they'd go out and uh, update it. And this obviously has a um uh, a changing uh, slide as well. As the, down at the bottom right hand corner, you can see maybe it changes over, keeps changing uh, on the updated uh, scout reports. But this looks really good. A global scouting network is uh, probably the biggest addition to uh, career mode, as well as the uh, new layout. As we can see in the background, it's a stadium, a pitch at the bottom. It looks very nice. It's all really intense, and I think it look, makes it look more... It would. It's not realistic as in the sense uh, of uh, a manager in real life, but it does look uh, great. Global scouting network is going to be a great addition to FIFA 14. So now we move on to our last screenshot. Now, this screenshot 
is uh, obviously uh, you come from central and then you if you go over to squad we've just been on transfers we haven't we can't get uh, any sneak peeks at office which is a shame or season season's probably an overview of what your what your season has been uh, your career in general and how your stats on your season so this is the starting XI 442 the Tottenham starting XI um Hugo Lloris, great goalkeeper. Personally, I think he's the best goalkeeper in the Premier League, along with Petr Cech, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, yep, so it shows you the uh, layout and uh, formation of your squad. Maybe it's different from FIFA 13. Maybe, uh, um, maybe well, as it's because obviously we saw as it was laid out, um, it would be in little dots. Now you've got the uh, player's kit number their name and what form they're in which is really good because as you see Vertonghen is down in form in real life he's up in form I think he's a great centre back but yeah it shows uh, the form of Gareth Bale, Adebayo, all the players how how they ranging in form Parker okay form Bale okay form that seems a bit unlikely in Bale's uh, position now you can see obviously this has a slider as well Maybe it goes from the squad, maybe it changes into the squad stats, the squad report, which we can see on the right hand side. Maybe it changes over to squad report to see how the squad's doing in recent games. But looking at how their form has been, as a team it looks okay. Maybe this affects the team in certain ways, maybe the form affects the team. But it looks good because it makes it look as if the players are bad in form, good in form, and then you know to, uh, to swap the players instead of having to keep pressing the uh, right uh, one of the right triggers to uh, scroll through to find the form but I think this looks really good so yeah that's the starting XI we have squad squad report here which obviously is going to tell you what the form is and uh, recent games and stuff like that if they're improving so it's quite good maybe that's what the arrow means as well with Gareth uh, Bale is uh, nearly nearly per uh, gradually improving Squad report looks quite good. Formations has another slider, so maybe that has a uh, different, I don't know, different uh, boxes to choose from. Intel, this is like uh, international squad, uh, exactly, this is like the international area. So obviously the bloke Matt Bilby, is, uh, he's not um, an international manager at the moment. But I'm glad they've kept this because in FIFA 13 we w we were not expecting it. It was a great addition. You could manage a uh, career mode, career, career team, a uh, Premier League team, or any type of team, and then also be offered the chance to manage your home nation or any other nation. And obviously for me it was either Spain or England because I just think England and my home nation and Spain are the best team in the world. And uh, <laughs> Intel international uh, squad selection. So squad selection you had to, you have a certain deadline to um, choose the squad in which was quite good so it obviously yeah and if the squad was hit by any injuries you'd have to make a change so yeah I'm glad they've kept international squad in and it looks really good and yeah so you have squad selection international squad and kit numbers so you change the numbers of your squad's team and obviously um, international squad team um, so yeah that's basically it guys we've uh, just uh, gone into a bit more detail of what uh, FIFA might be offering us in career mode it looks really good I, I believe that the global scouting network is going to bring us a great more sense of infu well enthusiasm and yeah realism in the game the starting XI uh, the uh, the look of how players are going to be uh, different form ranging forms it's going to affect the team and it just generally looks good with a bit of a redecoration and uplifting on a, the general dashboard. It looks great and I'm I'm really excited to see what the RSS feed is going to be like. Uh, if it, is it going to be constant updates or not? But that's what we're going to have to wait for guys. I'm afraid that's the end of the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will be uh, posting another video soon. Thanks for watching guys. I'm out.